Welcome to the conclusion of solving using similar triangles in your pod. So, uh, Mason Construction wants to connect two parts on opposite side of a town with a road. Right? So we have two town. We have two parks there: Park A and Park B. And surveyors have laid out the map as shown. And there's two choices for the road. So number one is to build the road through the town. And number two is to build the road around the town through point R. The roads intersect at a right angle at point R. Right? So we have a right angle here. And notice that would be a right triangle. Right? So um, let's just call these A, B, and R. So triangle A, B, R is a right triangle. So you can add that to your notes. So you don't have the questions below, but we'll, we'll abbreviate these A, B, and C questions um, as we go along. And, and they'll be, uh, it'll be fine. All right, so um, we're also told that this line, line joining uh, Park A to Park B is parallel to the one connecting points C and D. So let's see, what do we know about those two triangles? Right, well, let's see. We know, for instance, that this would have to be a right angle as well, right? Because those are vertical angles. So you can add that to your notes. Right, and vertical angles are always congruent. Right, and then we've got, since we've got parallel lines, if we were to extend those lines, you'd see that we have, um, which are the ones I'm writing in black here, intersected by a transversal. So that means our alternate interior angles are also congruent. And that's because those alternate interior angles are formed by parallel lines. So our alternate interior angles formed by parallel lines are congruent, right? So notice our triangles here. I'm going to, I'll just leave those up there, I guess. Um, first of all, go away box. First of all, not, now I got a new box. First of all, not only is uh, ABR a right triangle, so is triangle CRD. So CRD, of course, is this one from C to R to D. That's a right triangle as well. And not only are they right triangles, they're actually similar right triangles. Right, we've got two angles congruent. So uh, triangle A B R, and actually I didn't I didn't match those up there where it says A B R and C R D. That's okay there, but over here I better match them up. So A B R is going to be similar to triangle D C R. Now they're matched up, okay, and they're similar using angle angle similarity postulate it's not uncommon on these real world problems that you'll be using angle angle because usually we're looking for the sides we don't know the sides all right so we want to determine the distance th between the parks through the town right? well we have a right triangle uh, and so that means that we can use pythagorean theorem right We've got, so AR here is a leg of the triangle. And BR is a leg. And AB is the hypotenuse. Right, and we know Pythagorean theorem. That the leg squared plus the leg squared is the hypotenuse squared. So a B squared equals A R squared plus B R squared. Right? So let's see, do we have all the information we need? Well, we've got 
be looking for a b so obviously we wouldn't know that one let's just call it x instead of writing a b all the time a r uh well we know b r right b r is right here there's b r b r is 7.5 so we know this one but we don't know a r so we're kind of stuck here until we go and solve for AR. So before we do anything else, let's solve for AR. Uh, we do have similar triangles here. And do we have enough to solve for AR? Let's see, yes we do. We've got two sides in one triangle and one side in the other. All right, so we're looking for um, AR. So let's put triangle ABR in the numerator, and we'll put triangle, um, the other one, DCR in the denominator. Right? And so we're looking for AR. Oops, well, now it's going to be green because I put down the pen. <laughs> and AR here, let's see if I can get another color up. Um, I want to use one that I've used. Blue, I guess. So AR here right, is going to correspond with, uh-oh, RD. Oh, no. AR corresponds with RD. Right? It doesn't correspond with the one we need. And then, of course, this one corresponds. So CR here corresponds because they're they're inversed of they're reversed of one another right so if the angles over here matches up the angle over here so this blue side here matches the blue side there oh no so we're going to have to do a little solving to find rd first yeah they're making us work all the way backwards all right, so we're going to have to first, before we can find IR, we're going to have to find RD because AR there corresponds with RD. Well, fortunately, we can find RD. We have all the information we need. All right, so notice we have two sides of our triangle. All right, so let's give ourselves, I guess I'll go over here. <laughs> all right, so... Um, for you, I'm trying to think how you will label these. Um, so you can just call this right now the whole thing distance between the parks through the town. We're still working on distance through the park between the towns. Just so happens, though, we're going to get some of the other information we need while we're looking for the distance through the park through the town. All right, so we're going to need um, so. CR there is the leg, and RD is a leg, and CD is the hypotenuse. So let's solve for the one thing we know we can find, or one thing we can find. We have all the information for. Let's find RD, right? Because we can use Pythagorean theorem. So we're going to set this up as. CD squared equals CR squared plus RD squared. Well, these other problems will be really easy because we will have already found everything. <laughs> All right, so CD, we know it's 1.2. Um, excuse me, no, 1.4 right there. 1.4. So we have 1.4 squared equals, right, CR we know, that's 1.2 squared. Let's just call RD Y squared. Right, just so we just have one letter there. And so we're looking for that. So 1.4 squared is going to be 1.96. Because 14 squared is 196. That's the only reason I knew that. 1.2 squared is going to be 1.44, because 12 squared is 144, plus y squared. So now if we subtract 1.96 minus 1.54 is going to give us 0.52.
Well, that's not very nice. 0.52 is equal to y squared. And we're going to need to get a decimal equivalent for that. That's not a perfect square, not anywhere close. And this won't be a kind of problem that we do a, with simplified radical with. It's a real world problem. So let's just get a number here. All right, so grab the calculator. And so the square root of 0.52 is 0.72. So that one was 0.72 um, miles is y. You might be thinking, how could the square root be bigger? The square root's bigger because our, we're taking the square of something between 0 and 1. So notice that, um, well, here 1.2 squared is 1.44 is larger than 1.2 squared, but because that's larger than 1. And we have no other numbers here between 0 and 1. But if you're taking the, 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 if you're squaring a number between 0 and 1, it gets smaller. Like for instance, 1 half squared is 1 fourth, and 1 fourth is smaller than 1 half. All right, so now we have found RD. So RD here is 0.72 miles. All right, so now let's go back to the problem we were working with, and that was finding AR. All right, so continuing on there. So AR goes with RD, and we'll have to use, so AR is from the larger triangle, triangle ABR, so we'll use BR because we know that one. We know we don't know AB. We were looking for that one, and it all went to heck when we didn't know AR. All right, so BR corresponds with RC. All right, so AR is what we're looking for here. Oh, let's just call that um, M, for lack of a letter, another letter. Uh, we'll just leave it as AR. We've used so many letters already. So, although, yeah, no, let's just make it M. I don't want AR, AR times something. It just looks messy. Let's just call it an M. All right, so RD is 0.72. Yeah, that's the one we were solving for. So 0.72 equals. And then BR is up there, 7.5. And RC is 1.2. And so we're going to have to cross multiply. And I have used up so much room, this is why I didn't put the questions in yours. So you would have space. Because you notice you really didn't need to write down the questions um, to be able to put this in your notes. So I need a new space to write. I'm going to come down here because I don't think I need that much space on problem number three. All right, so I'm going to cross multiply and I'm going to have 1.2m equals 7.5 times 0.72. So 1.2m is equal to, let me grab up the handy dandy calculator, 7.5, oops, trying to write this with one hand, hold the microphone, 7.5 times 0.72 is by 0.4. And we're going to divide that by 1.2. And that is 4.5. 4.5 miles. And that's a 5. It looks like a 6. My 5 just got a little loopy there. 4.5 miles. All right, so now that's a R in the question mark there is 4.5 miles. So now, working backwards, now that we finally know AR, we can solve for AB. So here we had to do a lot of work just to get to AB, but now most of our work is done because anything, we now know all the different segments. So whatever they ask us, we already know it. All right, so AR squared um, is 4.5.
All right, so x squared is equal to 4.5 squared. is 20.25 plus 7.5 squared is 56.25. All right, so that's going to be 76.5. And again, we're not going to leave this as a radical. We are going to simplify this and get a decimal approximation. So x is the square root of that. Oops, and one of us typed in the wrong number. Hold on. 76.5. And think the square oops, square root. Helps to hit the square root key. is 8.746, so, 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 so on. So we're just going to run it to decimal places, 8.75 miles. Whew. There we go. There was the answer to the original question. How far is it through the town? It's 8.75 miles. And we have definitely explained it using word symbols in both. We've got, we've got symbols and numbers all over the place here how we found our answer. Right? We're not going to write it out in sentences. I think you can follow along with the notes. So um, maybe just a little, I'll put a little explanation here. You have to find. So we had to originally find, the very first thing was we needed to find RD. So you have to find RD to find AR, so you can find AB, right? And we used we used um, Pythagorean theorem for one of them, right? And uh, for two of them, and proportions for the other one, right? So this one was a Pythagorean theorem, and. A R was a proportion, and A B was a Pythagorean theorem. If if that wasn't a right triangle, we would have been stuck in this problem. Wow, it's taking me. I thought it was only going to take me ten minutes, like seventeen minutes, and I'm still on this problem. But we're almost done. All right. So B, determine the distance from Park A to Park B through R. All right. So we've already found everything. Uh, we just need to add those together, all right? So um, in your notes, you can write this. Distance from park A to park B through point R. And the math on this one is simple. Let's label that B. Everything else is A up here, all right? So B is just, we're just going to add 4.5 plus 7.5. So that's equal to 12 miles. There we go. That one was done. Oops. And I. Am I. All right. So now, and that, that's going to be enough explanation for us in this problem here. All we did is, well, maybe we'll add this. We added, right, we added AR plus uh, BR. All right. To get our answer. And so if it costs $3.5 million per mile to build the road through the town and $6.5 million to build the road through the town, which would be cheaper to build, all we have to do is take our two distances and multiply it by the cost, right? So our total cost, so this one's going to be C, um, and... You can just put cheaper road or something, cheaper to build. Which road would be cheaper? That's good enough. Which road would be cheaper? That's what you'll label point, uh, part C. Right? This will be part C here. So now all we have to do is, so uh, uh, through the road, the total cost, so here's our C, would be, let's just call it total cost one 
would be AB, the length of AB, times 6.5. And so that means our total cost is AB was somewhere up here, 8.75. So 8.75 times, I'm blocking 6.5 means our total cost is, drum roll please, 56.875. So this is money. Actually, no, this is millions. We don't have to round this in your cent. So $56.875 million. So T, their total cost one here is 56 uh, 0.875 million. That looks like miles. All right, so now we just need to find the total cost to go around the road. We're running out of space here. Um, I may have to extend the page a little bit just to get a couple more inches. Or how about... Just a wee bit more space. Just a wee bit more space. I wouldn't even need the question anymore. All right, so here's our total cost two. I sh wish I didn't write there, but I didn't have any other choice. So total cost two. All right, so if we're going around the road, it would be 3.5 times, or around the town, AR plus RB. which is equal to 3.5 times AR is 4.5 and plus 7.5. So AR plus RB, we already have it calculated right over here. We already have it written down. So let's just write in 12. So that means our total cost two is, so 3.5 times 12. Well, even without multiplying, I think we know which one's cheaper. 42 million. It's choice two. All right, so it is cheaper to to build the road. Here's our final answer. Around the town. And now we've answered our question. So that's what they should do. Build the road around the town. I wish my questions didn't take up so much space. And hopefully you followed along with this okay. Uh, and if not, I can put this back up in class and answer any questions that you might have. Thanks for watching my podcast. And we're done with this problem. And I'm really glad I did this as a podcast. This took a little while. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.